the shark. It looks really fearsome and scary with all of those big teeth that it has coming out of its mouth. It fascinates and strikes fear in the same breath. Are you afraid of sharks? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, they could probably eat humans and <laughs> one gulp and you're gone. And... Shark experts say it's rare that one would actually eat a human, but shark bites do happen, seemingly more now than ever before. Some say it's because of population growth. Ariella Weiner is an aquarist at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PBG Aquarium. You have more people spending their recreational time at the beach with more people in the beach. You have more attacks because there's more people. These beaches have seen the most shark attacks during the past 15 years. 176 at Daytona Beach, Florida. That's 11 people attacked by sharks each summer. Melbourne has recorded 56 attacks. Palm Beach and beaches near Charleston and Myrtle Beach average one attack each summer. So why do sharks attack people? It's not that the sharks are actively seeking out people. It's that they accidentally mistake that person for a food item. Weiner says the shark species most known for attacking humans are the bull shark, the tiger shark, and the great white. Nine different shark species live at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium, and none of them are considered man-eaters. However, they do have five large sand tiger sharks. It uses its teeth for pinching its prey and then swallowing it whole. They look like monsters, but they're not. To prove it, we'll get in the tank with them. Weiner leads us to the water with pre-dive instructions. Then I'll go towards the back wall. Cynthia Liefeld of PH Diva Diver Productions is our underwater videographer. Then she's going to film Sheldon get into the water. And then we're in the water. Time to go under to meet the sand tiger sharks. As I descend, I give two hand signals to say everything is okay. Spectators watch from inside the tunnel as we navigate our way to zone three where the sharks are hanging out. We finally get settled in a corner and then the sharks appear. It doesn't take long for four of the five to congregate around us. Moments later, we leave zone three. I look to my left and two sand tiger sharks pass me on my right. They go their way, and I go my way. Next, we enter Big Ocean with the zebra sharks. They're sleek, fast, and agile. They live in the Indo-Pacific. Their names are Sushi and Nori, and actually, they don't mind some human interaction, as displayed with me. So not all sharks are manhunters craving human flesh. However, we're reminded the water is their home, and we are only visitors. Just be aware when having fun on the beach. That's their home, that's where they live, so with anything you're doing, there's a little bit of risk involved, so they should be aware that they're entering these animals' home. Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.